In today's video, we are going to find the maxima and minima of a quartic function or a polynomial function of degree 4. In the question, they have asked to find the maximum and minimum value of the function y equals 3x to the power 4 minus 10x cubed plus 8x square plus 4. In the solution, we will write down given the function y equals 3x to the power 4 minus 10x cubed plus 8x square plus 4. We need to find the maximum and minimum value of the function. Let us find the first derivative of the function. By using the rules of differentiation, the first derivative of the function is equal to 12x cubed minus 30x square plus 16x. According to the first order condition, for the existence of a maximum and minimum value of a function, the first derivative of the function should be equal to 0 or 12x cubed minus 30x square plus 16x should be equal to 0. By taking x as a common factor, we have either x is equal to 0 or 12x square minus 30x plus 16 is equal to 0. From the second equation, in order to find the value of x at which the function is either maximum or minimum, we shall apply the quadratic formula. In the above quadratic equation, the value of a is 12, the value of b is minus 30 and the value of c is 16. Let us substitute the value of a, b and c in the above quadratic formula. Minus b, the value of b is minus 30 plus minus root of b square or minus 30 square minus 4 times a, the value of a is 12 times c, the value of c is 16 divided by 2 times a, the value of a is 12 minus times minus equals plus 30 plus minus minus raised to the power 2 equals plus 30 raised to the power 2 equals 900 minus 4 times 12 equals 48 48 times 16 equals 768 2 times 12 equals 24 900 minus 768 equals 132 square root of 132 equals 11.489 30 plus 11.489 equals 41.489 30 minus 11.489 equals 18.511 41.489 divided by 24 equals 1.729 18.511 divided by 24 equals 0 0.771 therefore the stationary points at which the function is maximum or minimum are at x equals 0, x equals 1.729 and x equals 0 0.771. Let us now find the second derivative of the function. The second derivative is denoted by d square y by dx square which is equal to the dx of dy by dx or derivative with respect to x of the first derivative of the function. The first derivative of the function is equal to 12x cubed minus 30x square plus 16x. So in place of dy by dx, we will write down 12x cubed minus 30x square plus 16x. By using the rules of differentiation, the second derivative of the function is equal to 36x square minus 60x plus 16. In order to know whether the second derivative of the function is positive or negative, we need to evaluate the second derivative at x equals 0, x equals 1.729 and x equals 0 0.771. Let us first evaluate the second derivative at x equals 0. 0 raised to the power 2 is equal to 0 minus 60 times 0 equals 0 plus 16. 36 times 0 equals 0 plus 16. 16 plus 0 is equal to 16 which is greater than 0. Therefore the second derivative is positive at x equals 0. Let us now evaluate the second derivative at x equals 1.729. 1.729 raised to the power 2 is equal to 2.989 minus 60 times 1.729 equals 
7.4 plus 16. 36 times 2.989 equals 107.604 minus 103.74 plus 16. 107.604 minus 103.74 plus 16 equals 19.864 which is greater than 0. Therefore, the second derivative is positive at x equals 1.729. Let us now evaluate the second derivative at x equals 0 0.771. 0 0.771 raised to the power 2 is equal to 0 0.594 minus 60 times 0 0.771 equals 46.2. point Two six plus 16. 36 times 0 0.594 is equal to 21.384 minus 46.26 plus 16. 21.384 minus 46.26 plus 16 equals minus 8.876 which is less than 0. Therefore, the second derivative is negative at x equals 0 0.771. Hence the function y equals 3x to the power 4 minus 10x cube plus 8x square plus 4 has two minimum value at x equals 0 and at x equals 1.729 and a maximum value at x equals 0 0.771. Let us now find the maximum and minimum value of the function. In order to find the maximum and minimum value of the function we need to substitute the value of x at which the function is maximum or minimum. Let us find the minimum value of the function at x equals 0. In each term wherever x is present we shall substitute it by 0. By doing so we have 0 raised to the power 4 is equal to 0, 0 raised to the power 3 is equal to 0, 0 raised to the power 2 is equal to 0. 3 times 0 equals 0 minus 10 times 0 equals 0 plus 8 times 0 equals 0 plus 4. So one of the minimum value of the function is equal to 4. Let us find the other minimum value of the function at x equals 1.729. So in each term wherever x is present we shall substitute it by x equals 1.729. 729. By doing so we have 1.729 raised to the power 4 is equal to 8.937 minus 10. 1.729 raised to the power 3 is equal to 5.169 plus 8. 1.729 raised to the power 2 is equal to 2.989 plus 4. 3 times 8.937 equals 26.811 minus 10 times 5.169 equals 51.69 plus 8 times 2.989 equals 23.912 plus 4. 26.811 minus 51.69 plus 23.912 plus 4 is equal to 3. 033. So the other minimum value of the function is 3.033. Let us now find the maximum value of the function. The function is maximum at x equals 0 0.771. So in each term wherever x is present we shall substitute it by x equals 0 0.771. By doing so we have 0 0.771 raised to the power 4 equals 0 0.353 minus 10 0 0.771 raised to the power 3 equals 0 0.458 plus 8 0 0.771 raised to the power 2 equals 0 0.594 plus 4 3 times 0 0.353 equals 1.059 minus 10 times 0 0.458 equals 4.58 plus 8 times 0 0.594 equals 4.752 plus 4. 1.059 minus 4.58 plus 4.752 plus 4 
is equal to 5.231. So the maximum value of the function is 5.231. Therefore, the function y equals 3x to the power 4 minus 10x cubed plus 8x squared plus 4 has two minimum value of y min equals 4 and y min equals 3.33 and a maximum value of y max equals 5.231. Let us plot the function y equals 3x to the power 4 minus 10x cubed plus 8x squared plus 4 on a graph. Let us input the function. After plotting, we can see that the function has two minimum values. They are 4 and 3.038 respectively. They occur at x equals 0 and x equals 1.729 respectively. The maximum value of the function is 5.232 which occurs at x equals 0.771. At points of maximum and minimum, the slope of the function is constant, which implies that the first derivative is equal to 0. At points of minimum, the function is concave upward, which indicate that the second derivative is greater than 0. That is, it is positive. At point of maximum, the function is concave downward which indicate that the second derivative is less than 0 or it is negative. 